Very good morning and welcome to the Silit International Cricket Stadium. All set to start, play on day two. Domination early, five wickets down before lunch, then that wonderful. The way he took the responsibility initially. He... Thank you very much, Shamim Chaudhary. Very good morning to all our viewers. Yes, Bangladesh are 32 for three and the Sri Lankans are out at the field. They posted 280. A good total on the board in the end, despite losing five wickets up front. The two overnight batters for Bangladesh, Mahmudullah Sanjoy. Fernando to start. Yeah, mentioning about Tajil Islam. In Bangladesh. Slightly leg side-ish. So therefore, his mindset. Again, shape back in, sharp inward movement. He spoke. Going down the leg side. Yeah, Taijul Islam now once again carrying most of the strikes. Mahmudullah Sanjoy took a single of the very first ball. That's a cracking stroke by Taijul Islam. It was full, he reaches to it, but the sound of the bat. I'll tell you what, it could have been full, but you still needed to put it away, and he put it away in style. Ooh. Timing to perfection in a shot like that from a night. Not being able to, dis uh, to survive. Well, you've got to add another name for the moment. Tajul Islam looks like he knows what he's doing. Surely he does. A welcome boundary for Bangladesh, probably not the best way they have thought, but still, they would take it. He's taken a blow, he's taken a few blows, Kusal Mendes, and that one just bouncing in front of him. So no carry on this occasion. We've seen some bounce deeply. That's the variable bounce or the uneven bounce that we think we will see on this pitch. Oh dear, Chandimal. Oh, that's coming the Mendis. Little clumsy at um, extra cover. They will forgive him for that though. And try and come up with your game plan. Every batsman's strength is different. How they approach, how they handle pressure. Oh, too good, too good, Taijul. How about that? Brian Lara like brings the 50 onto the board, 53 for three. Immediately picks up a wicket. Lahiru Kumara picked the big wicket of Mahmudullah Sanjoy. Hit the deck. That's the type of bowler Lahiru Kumara is, and he's brought into the attack because Kasun Rajita left the field holding his side. Forces him to play at it. Smartly taken by the captain De Silva in the slips. Ahmadul Hassan, well, no joy today. He's gone for 12, and Bangladesh are now 53 for 4. Shot. And spot on in terms of what you just said, uh, Farvez Maru, there will be opportunities. And once you see the ball pitched uh, full in your arc, in your zone, just leans into it and uh, puts it away. Back and across, gets into a good position, good balance, and a lovely stroke to pick up uh, another boundary. Easy on the eye. Nicely placed, nicely timed. That will make him... Lovely. Just opened the face of the bat. He's very good. And he's uh, picked up another boundary. He's not happy. Good way to finish the over. 73 for four. Last uh, ball of the previous over. Nicely played. He's uh, pretty good with his footwork once the ball is pitched up. Just opening the face of the bat. Waking areas. Rolls over. 
frustrating, isn't it, for the bowlers? Shot. Again, touch fuller. And he puts it away. Very strong on the offside. He's already picked up a couple of boundaries in that direction. That's a shot of authority from Shahad Atho Sandeepu. And this happened in the last two as well. Two good deliveries by Lairu Kumar, hitting the deck and beaten outside the Aust. And all of a sudden, the previous over, the third delivery was pitched up and smashed through extra cover. And this occasion, one good delivery and then single. Making sure it happens. And this is outside edge. A good length by Lairu Kumar. He's been craving for it. It's hold its line. And Shada Thosen Deepu in the end. I don't think it was a bad shot at all, but just a good delivery. Extra bounce. And the first lift field up, gobbles it. Yeah, credit to Lahiro Kumara to keep peppering him with uh, some good deliveries. Now, the question is whether he could have left it or not. But in the end, it's an outside edge and carries to the slip fielder. Too easy in the end. He picks up his second. Shada Dusan goes. Another wicket goes. Goes for 18. Nice looking shot, just lent into it. And the ball just reaches the fence, that leaves some nerves. Searching for swing. Kasun Rajita. Floating that ball through and it's not working on this pitch. We've seen that on many occasions. Those who have been successful, those who have caused the problems for batters are those who hit the deck. He's got to adjust his length very, very quickly and not allow... Oh, upended him. Big appeal. Shake of the head. Is he going to go for a review? Oh, dear. He's asked the question. Let's have a look at that. You got a front on plate. Ball tracking coming up now, Richard. Impact in line and missing the wickets. Stay with your original decision of not out. I'll let you know when you're on screen. Richard, that was the right decision taken. Now, it was down. always going to drift down leg with that angle of the delivery. It's a crucial time of the game. Nicely clipped away when Litton Das makes runs. They are good looking runs. Sure are. That was a delight. Just the manner in which lent into that shot. Look at him going forward. Just sheer timing. Didn't have to hit it too hard. Just the power of the wrist. Timing, placement, and off it went. Delightful. Second one, similar area. The eyes. Clumsiness <laughs> all round. Yeah, at both sides of the wicket. The 100 has come up for Bangladesh. That'll be something to just release some pressure. This is what transpired. It just bounced over the head. And Tajil on his run almost crashed into Jasuria. Mm. Oh, lucky. Just gone past the field at slip. And we'll reach the fence for four. They need a bit of luck, Bangladesh, and at the moment, Taijul Islam is having it. I think it's Kamunda Mendes, isn't it? Yes. Certainly a chance. Gone a begging. And it's gone to the boundary. Well, one of the very few false shots that he has played in his innings so far. It was wide and he cut it, went straight. I went very quickly. Sharp chance. Eight point for Litton Dash. Plays that fine. Cross the fielder for a boundary. He just didn't get up as anticipated by the bowler because uh, once it is the height, it doesn't get high, it's easy for batters. Now, look how easy what is. Didn't try to hit it too hard, just wanted to find the gap. Just 
enough to get past that right outstretched hand of the fielder. Pulled away by Liton Dash. A shot of authority from the right hander. Now that is a cracking shot. You talk about control, you talk about getting into a good position to play that pull shot of the back foot. He gets so much time, he's so pleasing to the eye. That is beautifully done. Now there is a deep square leg and there is a deep fine leg, but he's hit that in front of the square, meaning that he had so much time. So when they... Ball game! That one came back, might have been an inside edge. And it's gone through the defenses, and so once again, it's uh, Lahiri Kumara who's uh, done the damage just when things were looking good. And he's uh, got the ball to move, and he's uh, done the damage. It's a brilliant delivery by Lahiri Kumara. Came in sharply, surprising Liton Dash. And it's that length that forced Liton Dash to go and play that one. It's a big, big wicket for Sri Lanka. Liton Dash departs after showing 25. Bangladesh won. Oh, oh, again coming in sharply. Probably getting that inside edge. Got an inside edge, inward movement. Bowling wide of the crease. Almost chopped onto the stumps. On his toes. Lucky. Unlucky for him. Tajul Islam not just surviving, he's also scoring those valuable runs for Bangladesh. That's his highest individual score in Test cricket. He's reached to 41. And with that over, the players will also go for lunch. And once again, Sri Lanka dominated the first session, picking up three wickets with the ball. Tajul, as I mentioned earlier, has been a rock solid especially in defense. Yes, 41 of 71 has been very good. It's been Lahiru Kumara. It's been brilliant with the ball, picked up three wickets. Fernando picking up two on the other day and Rajita. At the moment, Bangladesh will be hoping Taijul Islam to continue. He's on 41 of 71 deliveries as he joined by Medes and Miraj as the both batters. Dominating. Dananjaya De Silva used his uh, making the changes he used five bowlers, big wicket of Lichun Kumada, who looked good with his highest uh, test score. They'll be disappointed. Lahiru Kumara, the man who did the damage with the ball. He'll pick up a single. He's quite keen to play with softer hands as also. Dortmund pulled away. And, uh, Pulled it nicely eh? in front of the square and it's gone to the boundary. That is a very good shot. Shot that he will be very proud of. 138 for six. A drag down by Vishwa Fernando. Put away nicely and easily by Taijul Islam. Very impressive. Nothing wrong with the delivery by Vishwa Fernando. Good ball shouts of catch it. Falls in no man's land. He's uh, doing a wonderful job with the bat. And remember, he's also the second leading wicket taker for Bangladesh in Test cricket Ooh. with 192 wickets. Behind Shakib Al Hassan. Morning session. He certainly deserves you. And this time, outside the Yostam, inviting the drive. And Tajul Islam going for that expansive drive. And nicks it, and Kusal Mendes takes a smart catch. To finally, uh, Taijal Islam's uh, patient knock comes to an end. Again, this time he gets a nick straight to the keeper. Well, he did a good job. He did a wonderful job. And he ended up scoring his highest score in Test cricket. 47 of 80. It's a good option. This time he just guides it away through the slips for a boundary. So referring to the one that uh, he attempted to play and missed it. There are 
fielders in the slip score but he just gets past that fielder in the probably in the third slip to the right no third uh. top edge fielders takes an easy catch in the end another wicket falls for bangladesh this time it's medias and miraj rajita strikes for sri lanka third wicket for rajita and there you go if he'd taken that single probably that shot wouldn't have been played he bowled it straight up it the length is not there and we do know that at certain times the ball holds and bounces on you and that's what happens he's threw that shot early oops <laughs> he make sure he gets it madushka miraj is gone for 11 it's one and in the air lucky goes over the fielder's head he won't be saying he's lucky that's 150 he'll be focusing on runs and uh, that's hit him on the handle really maybe he'll need to replace that bat got that chest guard he's got the arm guard he knows like kumara will come at him one slip two slips a gully there's a third man especially with the performance of the first innings that's the way to do it if it's there give it a tong get some runs just thought Khaled and Shuriful should resort to this no point hanging around no point just getting beaten down great strike comes down to the conditions as well that you're playing in spinning pitches you want that uh... and a point from Khaled Ahmed was in the air for a while just fall short of the field at deep third man fortunate seven runs of the over Bangladesh 160 for eight he's got all of it <laughs> no one saw it because it's gone far far away you're expecting that what a shot the second six of the Bangladesh innings both came of the bat of Khaled Ahmed that was powerfully struck but the right hand and these are crucial runs from Bangladesh's point of view he's reading it well Khaled Ahmed yep eat away at that lead yeah I haven't been surprised at all at how the pitch is played that grass that extra bounce sideways movement this time it's joyful Islam goes high and it goes out of the ground for six second six of the over and the bowler is not happy <laughs> he's not happy because he didn't fall too far away from that boundary line and Lairu Kumara he watched it go by probably thinking oh let it go over let it go over. that's how high that ball was <laughs> they're still discussing it yep <laughs> he's been banished <laughs> could you try this time it's a well connected stroke by shoyful islam third six of the over a big big over for bangladesh 19 from it they're 179 for eight 20 balls and crucial runs he tosses it up he's trying to buy a wicket but he's giving the two batters the shot now bangladesh trail by only 101 vishwa fernando backs away swivels now that's up in there it's going to be taken desperately hung on to it and he's relieved at the last moment he had a little bit of a struggle engaging the flight of that ball but uh, that uh, breakthrough that they were looking for has been achieved a one swing too many by Shariful Islam. Bishop and to see that Shariful Islam trying to give himself room to have a swing. Follows him, quick bouncer, off his follow through, runs back and takes a good catch. Whole lot of cricketer with Fernando, deservingly getting his third.
Islam, an important contribution, 15. But first few deliveries will be, and this time outside edge. And Vishwa Fernando, the hard work he has put in, ran in all day, picks up his fourth wicket, and Carl Dummett's resistance comes soon in. Yeah, it had to happen sooner than later. Carl had kept on swinging away. And uh, the law of averages was telling you that he's going to get something on the bat, and that's going to go through to Sal Mendes. Uh, takes it quite comfortably. And that is the end of the Bangladesh innings. They fold at 188. Good effort from Carl at 22. And they added some valuable runs at the end for his team. Yeah, this equals the record of uh, the first two innings number of wickets being taken in Bangladesh soil, 17. Have a look at the batting, nothing uh, much to write home about, only the 47 from Tajul. Have a look at the bowling, very impressive. Four for Fernando, Rajita three, Lahiro Kumara, the paciest, very parsimonious. 47 and a couple of innings is uh, from the tail enders, but still trailing in the first innings by 92 runs. To ensure that they have a good outing in the first uh, 10 overs or so. On the toss, put the opposition in on a green pitch and then you find yourself 92 behind on the first innings. Nishan Madushka threw his bat at one, a wide one in the first innings. 1635 50s and... Uh, at the rip cage, he looks to be fine now. And also, straight away, runs uh, on the board, uh, the first delivery. They would need to understand. Oh, tight call, tight call. Derek Head would have been interesting here. Yeah, Taijil not happy. Why was not somebody backing up just behind the stumps? But Khaled Ahmed, he crept up on Shoriful. Not even in the picture. He's too close to react, Khaled Ahmed. He should give himself a little bit of... In the second inning, this one comes back. Wraps him in the pad. There's an appeal, loud appeal. Support from the... Slip scored and also on time. Shantos crept in. Thank you. There's pitching outside of impact in line and missing the wickets, Chris. Missing the stumps. You'll be staying with your original decision of not out. I'll let you know you're on screen now. Signal now, Chris. This time it goes through. And goes through to the boundary. Nine without loss. Uh, Russell, uh, even though it was a little bit wide, wasn't it? Last ball of last over. Caught on the crease. Tentative poke. But luckily it goes straight down and into the gap. Yeah, he likes that area, Nishan Madhush. Again a loud shout. It looked a little bit straighter. Bounce again, Arthur. Bounce again. They take another. Ball tracking coming up. Impact is in line and missing the wickets. Signal now, Chris. Shot. Lovely shot. And uh, you, you make a very valid point. I, I, I completely agree with you. There has been the bounce. You do? I do, yes. Lovely shot. It's a half volley. And he's played that beautifully. Good balance, lovely hands. Yeah, right underneath the eyes, and he waits for it. And starts with the, onto the pad, and it's a put away in style for the boundary. Yeah, you bowl with pace, but you got to get it right. If you don't, you're asking for trouble. Bread and butter for Karna Ratna, the way he sets himself up, anything straight, anything on middle stump, it goes there. Now, if it, if it was Gaffney, who was walking up, being in the game, he probably would have hung out. Gets an out at edge straight away. It's the right hander, and he picks him up. Lovely delivery, as you rightly pointed out, for a right hander, really good line, and he doesn't disappoint.
Good change from Nazmul Hussain Shanto. Yeah, keep hitting that length and you get a wicket. Now we go back to the point where you'll allow Bangladesh to bowl an extra over. They left a few seconds and Rana strikes. Well, they're smiling. They go to tea, a happy bunch. Nishan Madushka has gone though for 10. Sri Lanka are 19 for one. And he uh, threw the ball to her. Was gone for 10. Sri Lanka in reply in the second innings and 19 for one. That's what it, he took to pick up his first wicket. He's already picked up three. Second innings, 19 for one. Sri Lanka lead by 111 runs. Uh, it's a tea time and we'll uh, come back shortly. We're back at uh, the Silas International Cricket Stadium. All set to go of day two in the Dutch Bangla Bank ah, test series ball. between Bangladesh. Oh, Jack Bank, that is a terrific welcome delivery for Kusal Mendes. And in the first innings, Paul, sweeper cover, controlling the boundary. And this is good running, very good running. That's quite poor from Shariful Islam. Oh, whips that away, just uh, the ball a little more straighter than the last one. And immediately taking advantage of that and putting away to the boundary. The, the rollover. The last ball of the previous over. And not a bad, bad delivery at all, by any means, by Shariful Islam. It was probably hitting middle stump, whipping, whipping it across Dimit Karnaratna, very strong through his leg side. Bouncer yeah, imminent yeah. and gets a bit of back and gets his man. Wow, that is one terrific delivery. He knew it was coming, the batter was prepared for it, prepared to take him on in the process. He does not get enough bat on that. Good catch behind. A perfect delivery, right on the money. Could not take his hand down in time, Kusal Mendes. Probably off the glove. And he did not wait for the umpire's decision. Thought of it. By the time he realized it was too high, too quick, wanted to hand, get the hands away, it was too late. And young Rana strikes second time in this innings of Bangladesh. Mendes gone for three. But Shaping down the leg side, flicked it away by Angelo Matthews. The fielder might have got a bit of hand on that one. But he will get a couple. End of the over, Sri Lanka. Off the seam, cracked away. A little bit too wide, not from the middle part of the bat. So perhaps maybe he could... Shot pulled away. That's a cracking stroke by Angelo Matthews. Played that with absolute disdain. End of the over, Sri Lanka, 52 for two. They didn't get it up. Yeah, it's in comfortable height. Again, on the back foot, just look where he's standing. On the back foot, and it is a, the kind of height that batters enjoy. Playing that pull or hook shot. Fuller, nicely driven. Never tried to hit that hard. He was in total control. The width offered by Khaled Ahmed and greeted with a boundary. The value of playing in the V. Yeah, no one near it. Didn't have time. Yes, yes, nine. He's taking him on. Oh! Let have another look at how far was he. Naeem Hassan is a tall lad. He's a very tall lad. And looked like he was closing in to take that catch. He took the bait. Mid on was in. They took him on, not from the middle part of the bat. Oh, very close. Really close. And this should have been taken. Yeah, it was a tough chance. But you need to grab. Again, this time, Liton Dash making no mistake, and Angelo Matthews is walking back. Taijul Islam strikes for Bangladesh. Yeah, we already spoken about how the seamers have done 
so far in this test match. So you've got to give this credit to Nazmul Sanshanto to bring the bowling change and ask Tajul Islam to come into the attack. He nearly picked up the wicket of the previous delivery. But this time around, it was turn and bounce of the second attempt. So there is something for the spinners. There is some purchase, and he picks up a wicket in his very first over. Angelo Matthews, the seasoned campaigner, goes for 22. But maybe to get a wicket, big appeal. They've lost two already very early. They'll be very circumspect. They are really tempted, and he does. He does. Thank you. It appears that there's no bat involved. All tracking coming up now, Chris. Impact is in line. Yeah! And hitting the wickets. Chris, I've got three reds, so I'll get you to overturn your decision to out. Uh, I'll let you know when you're on screen. You're on screen now. The umpire has to change his decision. Another wicket. The bowling change works again for Bangladesh. Well, you're right. Get a wicket. Chandimal misses a straightforward one. He's gone for a second ball duck. Sri Lanka now under pressure. 64 for four. Chandimal's gone for naught. Yes. And oh, could have gone anywhere. See the reaction of the bowler. Cut him in half. He's been good, Khalid Ahmed. He's been unlucky gone past that edge on many occasions. Pitches like this, you understand this. Ball moving around, inside edges here, there. Ooh, <laughs> tough to play. Two slips and a gully. I'm seeing the batters on the other end, this is a poor delivery. Drag down. And dealt with perfectly by Adhimut Karnaratna all around the ground. And an important boundary to break the shackles. Yeah, this is one area where the Bangladesh bowlers will need to learn and learn quickly. You just mentioned that it is a difficult pitch to bat on, especially this time around also. It was not easy first time around. But if you're bowling a short pitch delivery, you've got to get it high. It sits up nicely. And this time, he tries to pull it, and it's uh, got the top edge, and it's gone all the way. Not in control, but in the end, it's a six to finish the over. Well, Dimut Karnartha was very lucky. Last moment, he wanted to get away from that ball. Top edge, and right over the wicket key for a maximum. Full credit should go to the young man, Rana, running in, digging it hard. Same line. Much better. What a shot. Oh, Dananja De Silva. That is a top notch. The only time in this over where he's pitched it up. And Dhananjaya does not disappoint. He's not going to miss out. Well, that is the big booming cover drive. And he holds the pose. Why not? And that's the area where he needs to work at. Beautiful. Beautiful to watch. That's gone. Yeah, you always see a bowler, Seema, after being hit for a bound, he comes back with a bouncer. Four buys to finish the over. 100 on the board, it's one or two for four. The sky death towards that point region. Yeah, you got the advantage, You're, you are making the play. And not convincingly played, managed to keep that down in the end, Dimut Karunaratne. Sri Lanka, 104 for 4. Huh? Played that late, played that fine, deliberately played by Dhananjay De Silva. He knew the fine leg fielder inside the circle was wide. Little too straight. Medias and Mirage. Top shot takes the lead past the 200 run mark. 
catches it and just touches it away. In good form. One of those players who reads the game very, very well. His second test as captain. Even now. Flicked away by Dimut Karunaratna. And with that boundary, he reaches to his 36th 50 in test format. Yeah, tremendous shot. That's his strength. He usually waits and waits and waits for bowlers to bowl at his pads. That did race away. 49 this partnership. Karnaratna. Again, not convincingly played. Straight to the fielder and taken. Joyful slam strikes for Bangladesh. And he picked up the big wicket of Karnaratna. Rana made sure he hung on to it. He's pleased with it. But he kept trying. He kept trying and he deserved this wicket. Karnaratna played that pull shot on many occasions. Never in control. It's been flying to different parts of the ground. Look at the direction right at the badge on the helmet. This time, though, straight to the fielder who makes no mistake. Dimut Karnaratna, as soon as he gets his half century, he's dismissed. He's gone for 52. It's 113 for five. Good leave. One ball from Rana. And that'll be his slot for the day. Edged. Ball shot of the fielder at Gully. Last ball of the day. Hopefully, yeah. He does well. He does really well. End of the over. And yeah, it stumps. What a day we had again here at the Silet International Cricket Stadium. Fernando, the night watchman, survives for 19 deliveries for his two. Dhananja, on the other hand, played really well for 23 of 41. Yeah, Fernando sure is pleased with himself. Did his job. Karnaratna 52, he's 36th to get those runs on the board. Bangladesh bowlers bowled well. Ended the day's play on 119 for five. Okay. Making sure Sri Lanka not lose any more wicket. They're still. Rana remained the pick of the bowlers, picking up two for 42 from his 10 overs after Bangladesh were bundled out for 188 and Sri Lanka taking the first innings lead. For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T-Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.